Leader of the Third Party. Thank you, Honourable Speaker. I'm listening to the dialogue between uh, the government and official opposition. I'm hearing encampments, I'm hearing warehousing, I'm hearing shelters, I'm hearing units. I've not yet heard, heard the word homes. Yesterday, the Vancouver police swept through the downtown east side and cleared people off the street. This province has had an issue of homelessness for years, and over and over again, the response has been to clear the streets, and it's gotten us nowhere. There's already reports today that the police are back, removing tents that went up overnight. This government seems to have no real plan for homes, for housing people in a way that is sustainable, rehabilitative, and forward-looking, but others do. The Village Project in Duncan provides short-term housing with wraparound support for the most vulnerable people. People get their own space to call home, a door that locks, they get mental, physical, and spiritual support, they get food, they get other assistance, and they get a supportive community of peers. It has been successful. <clears throat> Where this government has failed to address homelessness, communities have found their own solutions. They've brought ideas to the table and are asking this Premier and this Minister for their support. My question, Honourable Speaker, is to the Premier. Will he commit on the record to come to the table and fund the communities that are creating solutions by building tiny home projects like the village in Duncan. Minister of Housing. Thank you, Honourable Speaker, um, and thank to the member for the question. $4.3 billion. We have part of our next three years to build housing for people, Honourable Speaker. That's $4.3 billion. Uh, this is a serious commitment to build the housing that people need. We've been having this discussion all week. We need housing for people that want to buy, from everything to people that, um, that are encampments that need that stability in their lives. Um, the member will know that we funded uh, projects in Port Alberni around tiny homes. Uh, we are looking for all innovative solutions that work for communities. We continue to do that work. I have meetings with mayors and from communities around the province. All of them have different ideas of how they think that they can address the challenges in their communities. And of course, I commit to working with all mayors to find solutions that work in every community. Leader of third party, supplemental. Thank you, Honourable Speaker. For the last two days at the UBCM Housing Summit, I heard from a lot of local elected representatives who said that they were coming forward to the provincial government, to BC Housing, to the Ministry of Housing, to the Minister, to the Premier, and they had solutions that were working for their communities on the ground, but they were encountering barriers, they were encountering lack of support, and they were encountering a situation where they weren't getting the funding for the, si the solutions that they brought forward. These tiny home projects have demonstrated that what's needed is not just units or shelter or spaces or encampments. People need homes, they need community, they need supports, and the communities that are doing this are demonstrating that this does not have to be a forever emergency. We can solve homelessness. That has to be the goal. My question to you, Honourable Speaker, again to the Premier. The Minister of Housing mentions $4.3 billion, but the, the tiny village project in Duncan had to go right to the wire to find out whether or not the funding would be renewed again. They need consistent and sustainable support, as do the projects around the province that are providing the solutions. Will the Premier give a clear signal that he is serious about working with the communities, that he will fund these transitional housing projects. Minister of Housing. Uh, Honourable Speaker, uh, thank you again to the member for the question. Uh, I'm absolutely serious of working with local governments to find housing solutions. Uh, the member mentions uh, Duncan, uh, 281 units, not units, 281 homes for people, Honourable Speaker. 66 have uh, opened up and 215 are under construction. These are homes for people in the members' community. Uh, and, th and that's what we're doing in every community, Honourable Speaker. And of course, uh, I have local mayors coming to me all the time saying, I've got an innovative solution. I think this would work in our community. Of course, we're going to work with everyone to find something that works within those communities. We're funding housing, Honourable Speaker, not only in municipalities. We're also funding housing on and off reserve for Indigenous populations. The only province in this country that have stepped up and said, you know what, we can't wait for the federal government anymore. We must build this housing. And we're 
investing in housing on reserve, on the speaker. Housing that meets everyone's needs is our goal, and we're going to continue to work with all our partners to help address that challenge.